Hello YouTubers and fellow Square Enix fans, my name is Daryl from Final Fantasy Fan and today we're doing our Let's Play The Banner Saga. In the last video we did quite a few battles and most of them went surprisingly easy. We had some tough times, but we were able to pull it through. So uh, yeah, we're gonna, just going to continue. Last time we stopped we made camp just after the Godstone, where we got this nice item, the Five Ring Necklace. It's uh, one strength, one arm, one wheel, and plus one break. So I'm thinking I'm going to promote one of my four units. So Geno for Hakon. Definitely going to go with Hakon and give him the necklace. But I'm short of three right now, so we'll just have to wait. I think I'll wait and promote him first before I promote the rest. Eric is down. I'm not going to wait for Eric to revive. We need the rations. I'm going to switch Fasselt. Oh, I said I'm going to switch Fasselt for Eric. Maybe switch these guys around. There we go. Hakon is the armor breaker. Ganolf is the damage dealer. We've got a shield unit. We've got another hitter. Um, this guy's also a shield unit, isn't he? Provoker. Yeah. Something like that. Let's uh, continue marching. In the distance, you see sm smoke rising from the trees. Dredge aren't known for setting fires to smoker, but it does get their attention. We used fires like that to lead them along in the Great Wars. Yeah, but they wisened up for uh, up to that after a while. Interjects another warrior. Or it could be someone trying to get our attention, claims Fazzled. The other group from Schlitt were sent this way. No matter how you look at it, investigating will cost time. Check it out yourself. The sounds of fighting ahead compel you to crash through the voyage, sidestepping foreign and dredge bodies along the way. You burst into a scene of carnage, a vast number of falls surrounded by dredge. Explanations can wait, you charge into the fight. Let's go. Okay, so... Not too large of a number, but I'm not really sure how to deal with this for now. Let's go with the ones in the front, I suppose. So we're putting up Hakon. <coughs> Excuse me. Ganolf. Then I want Mogur on the sides. Chris, go there. Something like this. Probably go straight forward. So, who's up next first? This guy. Rendering almost completely useless. Next up, that guy. Could probably wait. He can't reach Harkon, and Genov is gonna get shit faced if I move him. Or I can charge in, I'll just charge in. There we go, killed one, made one useless. Oh, nice, he went for Harkon. Let's see. Um, when is this big guy going to move? Not for a while. He's a shield slammer, so that's okay. Break a chunk of his armor. Gonna start watching out with Hakon, actually.
Heavy impact, there we go. Chris, move Chris forward. Battering ram, can't do anything, and turn. Malice uh, taunts your adjacent enemy, okay? Okay, the big guy is gonna attack. This could hurt. It does. Here we go. Let's bring up some carnage. Like I said, carnage. <laughs> okay, we lost one there. He's near dead. Gonna take this guy. Next up we have Gris. Let's see who's up first. This guy, he's almost dead. This guy's wounded. This guy. I'd like to go here. Uh, battering ram. Attack. Let's take down this big guy quickly. Killed him. Ooh, Gris is taking a massive hit there. <clears throat> kind of punch this guy into the smithereens heavy impact there we go yeah, he became useless now probably gonna move back Hope he doesn't chase me. Great, now he just killed the other guy. <clears throat> Guess it didn't matter much. Big hit there. There we go. Deflect it. Killed one. There we go. Okay, look, so we lost uh, Moger, I think. Moger went down. And another one went down. Fessled is ready for promotion. Okay, yeah, Moger's injured. And Bercy's injured. Guess we have to rest. 10 right now, which is good. Should be able to promote Hakon to level 5 now. As the fighting wraps up, one of the fall puts his axe away and puffs on a pipe. Hakon, he greets you. Glad you saw our signal. He explained he had some. He explains that they had come from Schlitt and were surrounded. He spotted you in the distance and lit a fire to draw your attention, at the risk of drawing the dredge as well. Back at the caravan, their sizable detachment joins your ranks. That's nice. Some extra vol. We have over a thousand Varl now. 
Let's check out our heroes. Um, hock on, promote. Yep. What shall we get? Special or defense? I'll go with defense, I think. There we go. Give him an item. We have seven renown left, which is not a lot. Uh, we're gonna rest for six days. I'll just do it now. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Everyone's healed up. Um, I can promote Fasold if I want. He's a breaker of five, and Eric is a breaker of six. 11, 11. Well, in the end, Fasold is going to be stronger, but just realized uh, probably shouldn't spend time on Fasold. He is going to die. We already seen that in the previous videos, so yeah, I'll just keep the seven renown for now and keep marching, I suppose. Mogo comes to you privately. I've seen some of the warriors disappearing, he says. At first, I thought it was my imagination. Now I'm certain several have just gone missing. Mostly men, but some varl too. Can't quite figure it. If it's an abandonment, you can't let it stand. Uh, man answers personally. Maybe? Yeah, that one. You call... You call the named Vault to your tent and demand an explanation. They tell you they saw Ludin's men going back to the rag wagon to gather gold and followed. They admit to taking some for themselves. Dismiss them and speak with Ludin. I ordered it, says Ludin, when you confront him. I sent my men to bring back gold from the cart you left behind. If you have a problem with your warriors joining them, maybe you should keep them under control. The men need to turn over the loot. No, he says unflinchingly. Mogar pulls you aside. He has no claim to the gold, but he takes no orders from us either. Like it or not, he's an equal. They'll repay us when this is over and you'll look the better for it. Luden folds his arms. Okay, back down. He leave no doubt in Luden's mind that another stunt like this won't end peacefully. He shrugs indifferently. Your worries demand a break. You halt the caravan with a say... But in all honesty, you're starting to feel the altitude of awareness yourself. Mogar leans on a fallen tree, filling with a crust of bread. Getting colder, he says, starting into a distance. You can see Richhorn. Richhorn just start to peek around the mountains. A flock of ravens float across the sky. A uh, clear sky forward. We should follow these birds. Are you okay? Without another word, Mogar starts running towards the bird and tumbles off the cliff. Suddenly, he's gliding through the air, flapping his arms for all they're worth. He swoops towards Richhorn before bursting into a flame and plummeting into a tower which crumbles like a log from a smoldering campfire. Doesn't matter which you choose, it's always the same it seems. You think you lost your mind, then you wake up. You don't remember setting up camp, falling asleep in front of crackling logs. What is going on, you mother? Mogar approaches you at the campfire. Hakon, did you see? He starts. Yeah, you both agreed to keep it to yourself. I just leveled... Yeah, okay, just rested my heroes. Just had to make sure. Let's go. I'm sure you've seen them, Mogur says, but we're being followed. Dredge have been on our ass since we left the Godstone. Lots of them. I'm sure there's plenty in front of us too, but we're just half a day out from the thick woods. We might lose them there. No, stop and get everyone ready to fight. Okay, says Mogur, I'll ready the warriors. Careful, Hakon, this isn't time to start taking risks. There's a lot of them. Evenly matched. There's no guarantee of victory here. Um... Let's charge in. If it turns out this battle is unbeatable, we can go back, load, and do a different formation, it seems. 
Let's check the numbers. Ooh. Okay, nothing we haven't faced before, but it's also not one of the easiest battles we've done. Let's see. Uh, this guy, Hakon, move down. Chris, move up. Or down as well, actually. Should we go for the small guys first? I don't know, actually. Problem is, they're in the corners. Makes it a bit harder to navigate. Who's this? Percy. There we go, we got Moger. I'll keep the flanks. Something like this, I don't know, let's see. Starts off with a big guy. Go with this one first. Stand here. See what's going to happen. This guy, he can't do anything. Got that guy. Let me make him useless. Well, not completely useless yet, but. Shit, we got that guy coming up. Yeah, he might be dangerous. Is he going to go for Gris? No, he's going for Hakon. Ooh, and that just did a massive amount of damage on me. Well. Oh. Yeah, he's going to summon. It's okay, I'd rather worry about this guy for now. Massive chunk of damage there. Let's see who's up first, that small guy. Then Bercy, then this big guy here. Old, eight guy, Hakon, this guy. Okay, so the guy down here is not going to be up for a while. There we go, three damage. What else? This guy. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a massive hit there. He 
you summon someone. Right, Bercy. Uh, that guy. This guy, okay. Okay, that's actually not good for him. Moger. Hock on. Take care of that big guy. Ganulf, what can we do? I'm gonna attack this big chunk of log here. Just can't seem to pummel this guy at any decency way too much defense Jesus it's gonna go for Moger it seems who else Hakon Hakon still in the fight but swing unfortunately thought I could that guy's up first Guys up first, this guy. There's nothing I can do against this guy. Percy just doesn't have the power to break through. This guy's up first, then this guy. He's already nearly dead anyway. Okay, Percy took a massive hit there. Hakon's turn. Kill this guy. Ganoff, kill that guy. that guy. I think we're winning if only barely though. Oh. 
kill this guy. There we go, that's how you break armor, Bursi. Okay, we lost another one. Guy's dead. Hakon, kill the big guy. There we go. There we go. Yeah, pull back before they regroup. I want to push it. Lost a lot of varl there, unfortunately. Lots of kills. Two injuries. Who did we lose? Chris and Moger. 20 renown. So, 10 and 10. Let's upgrade my two level 2 units. Let's camp six days, actually. Four, five, six. I think that's six, was it? Yeah, okay. Gotta be careful, we only have 19 days left of supplies. If that was rook, then that would be plenty. But with these four, all here. Deep inside the woods, you get a distinct sense that dredge have more or less surrounded you, and in great numbers. The dark shapes create unsettling patterns as they slide between the trees in every decision, in every direction. At least it's not as bad as it could have been if you hadn't taken out a good portion of them already, you think to yourself. Alright. Uh, let's see. Any ideas, Moger? You pray to whatever god you like, there's more of them waiting on the other side of the woods than we've seen so far. We may be seriously outnumbered, especially if we wait. Irsa appears unexpectedly. What if, she says, putting an arrow knowingly, you could set part of the uh, the woods on fire to draw the attention while you escape, or try to draw them into a trap. Was this your idea, you ask? She shrugs innocently. Fight the way, Fight your way out as usual, I think. With the warriors ready, you burst into the woods at full tilt, weapons and shields at the ready. Battle cries on the wind. The dredge may have known you were coming, but still found themselves surprised. As you cut one wide-eyed slack nearly in half, you bark orders and engage. Charge. Just gonna keep fasled for now. Let's see. Okay. There's not a whole lot of them. This guy's up first. Next up is that guy. How far was the other guy able to reach? Okay, till there. So I need to go here. Fucking armor, dude. Mogers up next. Let's just close off the 
gap. They'll just be stuck behind each other. There we go. Perfect. Percy, well, I just leveled you up, so... Show them what you're worth. Ooh, they're clearing the gap. Okay, that's one way to do it. GG there, actually. Gonna summon, that's okay. Gonna reclose that gap as soon as possible. We took one big guy down. That's gonna hurt. Who's this? Moger. Let's hope Percy can finish him off. He can, nice. It's two of the big guys down. Chris. There we go. Good hit there. Can I taunt this guy? I can't, unfortunately. <laughs> Bash in his defense. He's gonna go for Ganolf again, isn't he? Nope, he did a shield bash. Gandalf has to retreat. What's up next? Moger. Let's see. This guy's up first. And I definitely want to try and stab him. And we got Bursi. Who's up next? There's that guy. And then that guy. Guess I'll just take this guy down then. He had six, so he was semi-dangerous. Chris. Ooh, Hakon. Really, he went for Genelf. Can't afford to lose him either. But I'm gonna lose one unit, it doesn't matter anymore. I think I lost a hack on here. Yeah, okay, so. I've got a rest anyway, so it doesn't really matter what I do anymore. Get wrecked. Losing Ganov as well. There we go, we won this one. Pull back before they regroup. Lost some fighters and some Varl. Nothing much. Got some kills. Two injuries. Um, actually, let's keep marching for a sec. There's Richorn in the back with the lightning.
Right, so this place is in ruins. This is where uh, Avend is. Avend. Avend. And Juno, but we don't take Juno with us, unfortunately. She only appears at, like, the end part of the game. So I'm not really sure how strong she is, but she has some pretty sick skills. What's this mess about? Looks like a full skill battle happened here and recently, but only dredge bodies remain. Maybe you will see something from the tower. Have all searched the buildings and make sure there's no dredge waiting to spring us on it. And don't set up camp or make fire. We'll take a look and then get out of here before anything else goes wrong. You mean more wrong. Wait, don't set camp, but I wasn't to rest. Crap. Well, we got a double battle coming up, guys, so I kind of need to reload for a sec. This does not look good. This really does not look good. We, I made a big mistake here. Well. Guess we'll have to fight with two injured units then. Guess there's nothing to it. Guess we don't have an option. Because the load, I could reload, but the last load was exactly when we arrived on this spot. That screwed us over. We've got a double fight coming up now, which makes things a bit even worse. Okay, so we got Moger. I want Moger with this massive amount of armor on the left side. Then we get, what is this, Gris? Want Hakon, where's Hakon? Oh my god, their injuries are massive in the hard mode. Look at them, that's half of their, half their attack power. Killed one. I guess it doesn't matter really if we lose Hakon or Ganolf because they're already injured to begin with. Right? That's how I see it at least. Luckily, this battle's not too tough. Clearing the way. He keeps coming back, though. Go in this little dent so Fessled can move in as well. No armor break. Okay, he's going to summon. Unfortunately, Bursi is in the wrong position here. Chris, however, is not. 
good night. Right, made him useless, that's good. Not the second kennel for some weird reason. Um, okay. down. It's Grizz. Grizz is pretty good. Okay, no, was, no. You keep attacking Hakon for some reason. Fine by me, to be honest. <clears throat> Set back. Dunk. Split up. There we go. This guy alive now. Let's just kill him. There we go. Go away. Just three of them left. Okay, move Ganolf back. There we go, Percy. I think he has a heavy impact. No, he doesn't. Chris, move forward, nice. Might be able to get out of here without any injuries. Kind of was still getting shit faced here, even though he's already far away. Freaking slingers. Step that guy. Fast old. There you go, he's dead. Just one left. Yeah, we were able to make this without any casualties, which is really nice. Sweet. Chris is ready for promotion. We got some renown. Not a lot, I guess. Nine. You learn. You lean on a crumpled wall, watching endless waves of dredge marching below. Satisfied, Hakon? Mogur asks. The vast number of dredge remind you of the Great War. I've seen enough, you reply. Let's get out of here. Mogur stands over the bodies of men and women. I think the slack came up here for these two, asks Mogur, waving his bloodied weapon their direction. Well, search them. Mogur leans down, patting this man's tunic. He stops, frowns, and presses the ear against the man's chest. This one's breathing, he says, pulling the man upright. 
She wasn't so lucky, he says, looking over the woman. The clang of metal reaches you from the courtyard below, muffled by thick snow you curse. Quick, back down, bring the live one. You skip stairs as you descend, shouting orders to the varl below. Um, alright, let's see. Let's, uh, I'm not sure. Let me set, check for the load. Okay, the load, we didn't, the game didn't save, so if we, uh, barge up on this mission, we have to redo the other one as well. So I'm gonna do it, hold them off for now. Get those shields up. So this should be, theoretically, it should be an easier fight. Um, <clears throat> how much renown did we have? 21. Oh, well, they're injured right now. How much does it take to upgrade these? 15. Mogar's pretty good. 6. Percy's 4. Chris is also really good. If you compare him with Mogar, I'd say they're about equal, actually. You can upgrade Mogar. He's always been a reliable unit. Confirm. Do some more damage. There we go. And he's got the Nawar horn. Fasalt. I don't want to upgrade Fasalt. How much does it take to upgrade Eric? 10. I have 6. Okay, never mind. Since I have two injured units, which I cannot heal at the moment, I decided to go with the easier battle. Okay. Well, we got five dredge here. They're all shield bangers. That's different okay, this guy's gonna come straight for us so make him regret that decision Shieldbanger goes forward. Well, and so do I. Mogar, the, the superb shieldbreaker guy. Look at it, seven. That's a lot. Ooh, they're also pretty good at breaking shields. Heavy impact, nice. Gotta close that line quickly. <clears throat> Next up, Harkon. This guy. Okay. Um. Heavy impact. Sweet. Look at that. Ding 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 ding. Gandalf. Take down the small guy so we get one renown. matters a little bit it doesn't matter a lot actually how many units we lose here because uh, we have to rest anyway we lost ha uh, Hakon and Ganov are injured so we got a few more injuries that's fine all we have to do is win this battle basically there we go we punch a hole in this guy's ass that sounded weird I wanted to say face <laughs> all right um on. Most of their shields are gone now, so we can start doing some damage to their HP. Oh, 
Okay, lost one guy there. That's one against four. Percy's up. Of Gris, this is Gris, okay. Five against three. That guy's still somewhat dangerous, a small guy. Like I said, doesn't really matter too much. <clears throat> there we go, pillage mode. Okay, he killed Hakon. Mogur's still alive. That's his mistake. There we go. <clears throat> Can't reach him with Gris, unfortunately. Should be able to do a lot of damage with this guy. Mogur? Oh, sure. Kill. There we go. Take a moment to survey the battlefield. The enemy is being pushed back all the way down the line. Pull back before they regroup. Okay, we lost quite a bit of fire. Oh, we lost a massive amount of Varl there. We had to, because we were injured from the battles. I had one eye on the fight. Next time I look down, some dredge are swarming into the courtyard. Can't tell how many more are waiting out there, but it's a lot. If we're getting back across the bridge, it'll be a fight. Any options? Not really, unless you want to wade into the valley, we're going to have to leave the same way we came in. Hakon, I think you should take a look at this. Nearby, the man has bundled and laid near a short wall protected from the wind. I think this man is a mender. That raises more questions than it answers. That's right, I knew his look was familiar. The spellweavers in Ridgehorn? Why? Maybe they know something about what's happening. If he's going to tell us anything, we need to get out of here alive. Uh, yeah, but I kind of would like to rest first. I really don't know my situation. Let's, let's rest. I agree, let's decide how we're going to defend this camp in case they attack again. Each day we wait here, the dredge are going to pile up. How many more will it be tomorrow? Double? What about the next day? Oh, look, it's your call, Hakon, but we, can cut, we can't cut and run this one. There's a one way out. Far of all, if anyone falls fighting here, they'll be left behind. Mm, let's make this place defensible. That's, that's the worth of my opinion then. Let's see, did it save? It still didn't save. You already had decided what you're going to do. Any opportunity to insult me? I'm leaving. Freeze to death in his tomb if you like. Knock him out. Even though he sees it coming, there's no much time he can do to stop the pummeling from happening. With a single open palm across the face, he falls forward flattened. Damn it, Hakon. This won't make things any easier. Now we've got two unconscious bodies to carry out of here. Time up. I don't want to see him or hear again, again until we go to Grafheim. Only until we're ready for a fight. Alright, I'll spread the word and meet you back here soon. Kinda need to rest. We'll set up watch, says Smoker. Who knows what the Dredger will do in the meantime. Might try to starve us out and wear us down. Might try to hide their numbers. What do you want to do? Try to get a better count on the Dredge. I'll find some scout smokers as he heads off together for volunteers. Might be a while before we hear anything though. In the meantime, I'll make sure others get rest. Our group crawled on the mountainside. We're able to get a better view. They think there might be 300 of them watching us now. They're securing themselves in thickets, so it's hard to tell. What do you want to do? What we do now is that more are definitely showing up each day, just like we expected. We need to get out of here. Okay, well... Percy's injured now as well. Did we get a save here? Let me check. Okay, so we did get a save. So let's uh, leave. We're ready. What's our approach? Bait the dredge into attacking and wear them down. I think that's a good one. Yeah, let's go with this one. 
Right, if we can get enough of them to split off, we could handle them a lot easier. It might be worth a try. We're doing it. Charge. We've got three injured units now. You can always reload and rest up completely, but I think that will screw us over more. No, there's not that many. Alright, um... Yeah, got three shield bangers. We got one attack unit here. So, I'm going to focus on him first, but no matter what I do. <laughs> 23 attack, that's a lot. That's way too much, to be honest. Here we go. Take down as much HP of him as I can. Seven. Gris. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, what fast old. Can we do the same here? He's going to summon. I don't think we're going to let him, though. Sundering impact. Let's go. Takes down the shield slinger. It's gonna fill up that gap, isn't he? We just got to win this one. This will be the last battle for a while. Mogur goes up. Take a massive chunk of his armor. There we go. Split the damage. Basically, he just hit his own units. That's it. Let's see who's up next. That slinger guy is up next. Damage him a little bit. Get away. Scrawny looking guy. Hakon is down. Okay. Go away, 